Hey everybody, what's going on? My name is Kenta from American Hako. I'm back! And today I'm here at the IPC Expo 2025 and welcome to American Hako. Alright, so welcome in. This is American Hako booth for Apex. We have a couple new products that I would like to show you today. One is the FX973. It's a three port rework station. And the other one is called the FR850. It's a micro hot air rework station. These products will be coming out later on this year. I'm going to give you guys a quick introduction to these two stations today. All right, so let's start off with the FX973. That's this station right here. Like I said, it's a three port rework station. It's 400 watt power capability. You connect up to three different hand pieces. You have a choice from a total of 10 different hand pieces that you can choose from. That being a standard hand piece, a heavy duty hand piece, tweezers, micro hand piece, micro tweezers, plus two different desoldering hand pieces that you can choose from. Plus we have three different nitrogen hand pieces that you can choose from for a total of 10 different hand pieces that you can choose from to use on the three port rework station. All right, so like I said, it's a 400 watt rework station, has a desolder capability, tweezer capability, and soldering capability. If you look on the screen here, gives you icons when the desolder station is plugged in, when a micro soldering station is plugged in, and a regular soldering station is plugged in, right? One of the features of the desolder station, you pull the trigger, there's a clogging indicator. When there's no clogging involved, all good with the blue, but when you have solder clogging going on, it gives you that red indicator with a maintenance sign on the screen telling you, hey, you gotta do some maintenance on your desolder tool. Same type of feature you see on our FR410. Now the other hand pieces, like I said, you can plug in a regular hand piece, a micro hand piece. Let me show you what a micro hand piece looks like. This is an example of our FX973 micro hand piece. You can tell very fine tips compared to the FX970 01 standard hand piece. Now the temperature ranges on a standard hand piece range from 50 degrees Celsius all the way up to 450 degrees Celsius. On the desolder tool, it's 330 degrees Celsius all the way up to 450 degrees Celsius, right? When it comes to the heavy duty hand pieces, you could go from 50 degrees Celsius all the way up to 500 degrees Celsius. So depending on the hand piece that you're using on the FX973, just remember 50 all the way up to 500 degrees Celsius, right? Like I said, it's a complete rework station, tweezers, soldering hand pieces, desoldering hand pieces, all right? Now, if you're looking to add a, uh, looking for like a hot air rework capability, that's why we came out with the FR850. This is a micro hot air station. Again, these two products will be releasing later on this year. If you need that hot air rework capability, this is the nice precision, delicate hot air rework station that you'll be able to do. Temperature ranges on here is 50 degrees Celsius all the way up to 600 degrees Celsius, right? The nozzles, these are the type of nozzles that you'll be using on the FR850. They're called NA01 series. You can tell that these are very fine and precision nozzles. This one is a two millimeter bent nozzles. We have one millimeter, two millimeter, three millimeter diameter nozzles, um, both in the straight and the bent type. This is an example of a one millimeter bent nozzle. And the one I have plugged into the hand piece is a two millimeter bent nozzle, right? So the neat thing is you have holders on the iron holder. You also have a nozzle remover on the iron holder. You wanna plug it back in, take it out, use this nozzle and boom, you're ready to work, right? When you're ready to use the hot air hand piece, there's a switch on the hand piece here. There's also a start button on the station itself. 
You can see it illuminates blue. That means the station is working properly. And if you touch it again, you see that it's flashing. That means that it's cooling off, right? So while you could, there's a temperature display, 750F, that 80 is airflow. So you can obviously hit the temperature button. If you want to change the temperature to 800, press and hold. And then you can change your temperature, hit enter. If you want to change your airflow, push the air, enter. Easy peasy, micro hot air station. So these are a couple of the new stations that we're working on. Before I forget, one more thing. On the micro hot air station, they also added a feature. You can connect a thermal couple to one of our FG100B or 101Bs. You can attach a thermal couple to the stand. You see that thermal couple that comes out right there? You can actually measure your hot air temperature. Why? So that you can use our offset feature that comes with any of our new generation of stations. So like I said, the FX973, it is our complete rework station with our desolder capability added on. So that complements the entire series, right? We have the FX971, which was our single port soldering station we have our fx972 which is our dual port rework station and now the fx973 the three port rework station with desolder capability that completes the fx970 series uh, new generation of soldering stations and if like i said if you're looking for a micro hot air solution we now have the fr850 hot, micro hot air rework stations these products will be coming out later on this year. So again, I'll be doing some more in-depth Ion Hako later on in the year. So what do I always say? Remember, keep your eye on Hako. I'll see you guys later. Go!